It has to be calibrated on a regular basis. And usually the prosecutor will provide those document documents to you showing that it's been calibrated. Obviously, if you find out it hasn't been calibrated properly, you can get the results out um, very quickly. But, you know, an intoxilizer goes into service, starts working, and then like any machine, it needs repairs. It needs to be retested. And unfortunately, during that process, people have, a lot of people have access to the machine. A lot of things are done to it that were, that are not done by the manufacturer. So that's where the problem becomes when other people open the machine, start repairing it, and then put it back in service. And um, us finding out when was that done, how was that done, and things like that. But usually when you go to court and you want to challenge a breath test, some judges will require you to present expert testimony. And there is a cost to that that you know, the client has to be aware of, that if they want to go that, down that road, sometimes that does require a lot of work and expert testimony.